Hi, this is Rob Benson with Cable Markers. I'm going to show you how to install the K4350 print driver on Windows 8. First, we want to start your web browser. We're going to go to www.segalscientific.com. Once there, we're going to want to select the software downloads and Windows print drivers. Now we're going to want to scroll down to Croy and we're going to select Croy. We click the download button and this is going to download the installation package. going to select save here when Windows prompts and now it's downloading once the download is finished we can close and run Select Run. Okay. We're going to get this uh, select uh, the approve licensing agreement. We're going to select Accept. next leave the default we don't want to read the instructions after installation so we'll deselect this we can click finish now the print driver is being installed Here we want to select yes to OK the uh, installation. Here we're going to add new Windows print drivers. Select next. We don't have it connected, so we're going to select a local port and install print driver. Here we deselect USB, we select a other uh, for the time being. We'll go back and change that later. Now we can select next. We want to select the K4350 300 DPI and make sure that that's 300 DPI. Select next. We're going to select the uh, default LPT1 for the time being and then we select next. We will go back and change that to the USB port once we plug the printer in. Select next. 
we can leave the default name hit next and hit finish now the print driver is actually being installed on the Windows system once it's finished we can hit close now we need to go into the print driver and change the default configuration so we want to search for settings and we're going to type in printers we can select the devices and printers here's our K4350 print driver we want to right click on it go down to printing properties and we're going to change the port right now so we select ports and here we scroll down we'll select USB 001 or wherever you've plugged in the printer then we OK it go back and right click select printer preferences we go into uh, the print driver itself we're going to select the stock tab we're going to change the media settings to direct thermal and then the type to continuous we then want to change the uh, post print action to none and this is actually turning on and off the cutter so right now we're going to have it turned to off we can change that as we print and it's better to leave it uh, changed when printing rather than have it always on if you have it on you have to select either after every page for every label or you can specify after job which would be after all of your labels are printed I'd recommend they do this when you're printing and not as a default setting. Once you're finished with this, we're going to hit OK, or we can hit Apply and then OK. And then we're going to select the Options tab and <coughs> we're going to deselect the Use Current Printer settings and we're going to change the print speed to 1.5 inches and the darkness to 10. We hit Apply then we can hit OK and now we should be set up and ready to go